I'm Dylan Black. You know the amazing students taking the public relations program at Algonquin College have a bunch of great events coming up to support an incredible organization. Joining us right now, we say hello to Sydney Cohen McFarlane. How are you? Good, how are you? And I'm good. Uh, Joseph de Cesare is with us as well. Now, you're both Algonquin College public, public relations students. That's right. Okay. Uh, Sydney, can you tell us about the program? What exactly are you learning? Yeah, so right now, at the end of every cohort, if you will, the, each group of us, we um, pick a charity, and then we raise money for them through a series of events this July. Our campaign is called the Bigger Than Hockey Campaign, and we are so excited. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and, and I know this great organization you've chosen. Uh, Joseph, tell us about the Capital City Condors. Well, the Capital City Condors are a family of hockey teams in the Ottawa area. It's for youth with developmental disabilities. It mm -hmm. gives these people an opportunity that, that may, they maybe not have gotten before. Um, they get a chance to play hockey, uh, play hockey safely, and more importantly, they make friendships that really are bigger than hockey, as our campaign mm -hmm. says. Mm -hmm. Now, why did you choose Capital City Condors? Well, it's such a unique charity, really. Um, again, it's just... They're so different in the sense that no other really charity across Ottawa is catering to developmentally disabled children and this just gives the chance for everyone to build, have social benefits and foster growth which is so important for youth across Canada. Okay. Sydney, can you tell me about the history of your program and, and its yeah. fundraising? It's raised a pile of cash over Oh, the years. yeah. <laughs> so over the past 30 years, Algonquin College Public Relations Program has teamed up with a variety of local charities in Ottawa. We've raised over $300,000 throughout those 30 years. Mm. So it's just been an excellent partnership between the real world and the learning environment, and we, we've been so happy to do it. That seems like a lot of cash. Mm -hmm. it's Different been charities successful. throughout the years. Now, okay, so am I reading this correctly? Uh, Joseph, you've got five events coming up we're talking yeah. about? We have five yeah. events that are It's going to be a busy uh, two weeks. It's all going to be kicking off Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And the five events are going to be at Mojitos and Masterpieces, which is a Latin-themed paint night. Um, it's going to be a magic-themed night. Uh, our event that we're hosting is the Capital City Cup, a ball hockey mm -hmm. tournament, a dive for the Condors, a volleyball tournament, and we're going to finish it all off with Hockey Mike in Canada. Which hockey is gonna, Mike in Canada. What, oh, what's, yeah. what's that all about? So that's an open mic night, so any... Yeah. Uh, performers out there, hit us up. We're looking for some performers. <laughs> okay, so let's focus on the night that your so so mm -hmm. your class is all divided up, and they've all got these five different programs. Right. Okay, so how many are involved in the one that you're taking part in, the Capital City Ball? So there's tournament. five students, two of which are sitting right here. Yeah. Um, our class as a whole, there's 25 of us, so it is quite small, and we are putting on quite a big show, so we're very excited. Okay, so how can people get involved in that event in particular? Because uh, it's happening on July 21st, which is Absolutely. Saturday. Absolutely. So we have an official event Facebook page where we have an Eventbrite link that'll take you right to where you want to buy tickets. So, correct me if I'm wrong, minimum four, maximum eight people for our tournament? Yeah, three on three ball hockey tournament. You might want a couple extra spares just in case it's hot. And you oh, want a yeah, breather? Yeah. You never know. Um, yeah, exactly. You never know. And more information, you can visit www.biggerthanhockey.com okay. for all of the events. Details. All five, all five events. All five yes. events. Correct. Uh, so, so I see the word cheerleader here, and I guess that's one that your program uses. <laughs> and uh, oh, yeah. so, it, I, the question is, how can you be a cheerleader? Now, you're not actually looking for like pom poms and pigtails or whatever. Oh, no, right? no, no, no. Uh, so, so what do you mean when he says it says cheerleader, Joseph? Now, it's more of a supporter term. But we want people to be so supportive of the Capital City Condors and cheerleaders sort of reflects that, of course, in sports, you have cheerleaders that are supportive. Um, you, when we have these cheerleaders to say, you're helping make Ottawa a better, more inclusive city. So it's very important to have our community support behind this organization. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Sydney, what is the main lesson that you want people to take away from all these great events that you're organizing? The main lesson is that participating in the Bigger Than Hockey campaign, it makes you feel good. Like Joe just said, it, uh, when you support us, you're making Ottawa a better, more inclusive city, and it's all smiles. There's, it's all smiles. Okay. Let's talk about some costs so to, to participate in the ball hockey tournament. Yes. People need to raise, obviously, some funds. So we're charging $100 per team. Whether you have four people or eight people, that could get divided up. It's something like 20 bucks each. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, there's literally no cost for you to come to our event, maybe like purchasing a hamburger or two, but yeah. I just want to mention that all of these five events are zero dollar budget, so everything that you're going to see throughout this campaign is 
is all attributable to our hard work. That's and pretty be impressive. More and all kinds of great sponsors and, and community oh, yeah. partners that are jumping oh, yeah. on board. We'd like board. to give a huge thank you. Oh, thank you to how many sponsors do we have? Like oh, tons. Tons. 20 plus. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Donating, you know, stuff for our silent auctions, raffles. Yeah. Everyone across Ottawa has been so, so mm -hmm. helpful with And us. I'm sure you're still looking forward to people jumping on board. Are you looking oh, yes. for volunteers? Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Volunteers, sponsors, anything, all the help we can get, we will gladly receive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know my friend Tyson Lefebvre, who trying oh, to yeah. raise a million dollars yeah. for Make a Wish Foundation. He's, he's part of the star. Capital City yes, Condor. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yep. So, Very familiar. And he's turning 18, I believe, this week. So that's Happy so birthday, there you go. Happy uh, birthday. <laughs> one final question. So, Sydney, uh, tell us about the, your event in particular, just one more time quickly. The, the times, the, the, the where, times. Okay. where it's happening. So out at Algonquin College Visitors Lot number 7 on July 21st, starting at 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., the tournament's going to kick start at 10 like I just said right smack in the middle we're gonna have a showcase VIP game versus mm. some Condors players themselves and we have a couple parents team coming as well there you we go. have a stack silent auction and come on out all so right excited. bigger than hockey.com for all yes. the events yeah. that are happening Sydney and Joseph thank you very much thank you Thanks so much Don go capital city Condors more daytime coming up Rogers TV